First, Elrika Johnson has uh, been speaking out about the devastating effect forgetfulness had on her during the menopause, leaving her fearing that she had dementia. So as part of our menopause manifesto, we've promised to keep talking about all the different symptoms you might experience. And I'm sure, like many of, of us, uh, you at home can relate to this symptom, which some people call brain fog. Gloria, did you, when we say brain fog, do you go, yeah, know what you're talking about? I thought about. you were talking about me at my present age and a bit <laughs> of brain fog, but anyway, so far it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I sailed, I was lucky, I sailed through the menopause because um, I did it with natural treatments and under the guidance of a doctor, so I was just lucky. But I do understand how serious a subject it is for many, many, many people, and it's great that we're touching on that. But um, at, at the time, although I didn't have the hot flushes and everything, I think I did have a bit of brain mm -hmm. fog, particularly on live television or live radio, which is not the best place to have it. But one occasion, um, always to this day, makes me laugh because I was at the London Palladium, it was the Royal Variety, and I was working for Radio 2 at the time, a two-hour documentary, and I'm doing the whole business. Well, here I am with the London Palladium and on the stage, and I'm doing this, and Janice Street Porter's here, and I interviewed everything that moved. The Bee Gees, who were top of the bill, didn't arrive in until about five o'clock from the States. And they were in the green room, and you know that anybody <coughs> from America brings about 14 people with them, the press officer, the this, the that, you know. And so I'm there, and you have what I call the human aerial. So you've got a man with the aerial and the microphone and everything. And so I started the interview, well, here I am, you know, and the Bee Gees have just got in, the whole atmosphere. And it went right down the line of the Bee Gees <laughs> till the end. It went, and, um, and, and Barry. <laughs> and he went... You don't know my name. I went, of course I know your name. It's ridiculous. I mean, of course I do. And he turns around to all these people and he goes, she didn't even know my name. Now, I'm hating myself inside, of course. So I started all over again. Here I am. Da, da, da. Go right down the thing. And Barry. And he starts the interview. And then he stops and he goes, says to people, do you know, I still can't get over the fact that she didn't remember my name. I don't know whether I want to do this interview or not something clicked in my brain <laughs> and I went to him and I just said, I looked up at him like this and I went, do you know what? Big performers like you, just in from the States, shouldn't make smaller performers like me feel awful and feel worse. I don't want to do the interview. And I said to the human aerial, we're going. Well done. And Philip Schofield was standing at the door and he was going, yay! Oh, uh, good. So, good. But then from, I'll, I'll sub the story down to almost nothing because I went down into the body of the theatre and I thought, well, I've got my programme anyway. And he, and he sent his wife down to ask me, would I do it? And I said to him, do you know what? If he came down himself, I yeah. might... He did a bit more. But anyway, they walked off the Clef Anderson show the very next day because they didn't like what he said to them. And up, they took the microphones off and they went off. So it was a... A memorable but it is a, you know, it's a, brain pro fog. it's a problem for a lot of women, Janice, <coughs> at work, mm. because we've we've talked about our manifestos.